Blood is known as the gift of life, but a growing number of Bay Area researchers believe something in it may help defy death and make us younger. Only on Five, reporter Andrea Borba looks at the research and new results released today. In the San Francisco Bay Area, the quest to turn back the hands of time and return to a younger, healthier you is rapidly accelerating. We don't know how soon we're going to defeat aging. We should be able to keep people truly in a youthful state of health however long they live, and that means, of course, that their risk of death will not rise. Aubrey de Grey is the chief science officer of the SENS Research Foundation in Mountain View. He believes we can grow biologically younger. The risk of death will remain only the risk of death from causes other than aging, like being hit by trucks. One approach, several startups are looking at blood, specifically the pale yellow fluid in blood called plasma. Plasma transfusions are a big hot property right now. At Alcahest in San Carlos, biotech scientists analyzed plasma samples donated by the young and the old. They were astonished. We have actually now for the first time discovered that, that there are hundreds of proteins that change with aging. Young plasma is a wash in special proteins that rejuvenate tissues. Very old mice injected with young plasma sprout newborn neurons in a part of the brain critical for memory and learning. It's pretty dramatic. Stanford scientists are now testing the method in humans. In a small clinical study, they infused young plasma into 18 patients with mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. The goal, to see if the treatment is safe. We found that it was safe and feasible to administer infusions of young plasma weekly. But there was also an unexpected surprise, signs suggesting the patients were getting better. We found our improvement on two measures of functional ability. Larger studies need to be conducted before any conclusions can be reached. Even so... It's all very exciting that, um, that there can be components in blood that could be healing. There is something in the old blood. Instead of focusing on young blood as a medicine, Michael and Darina Convoy are looking at neutralizing bad compounds that build up in our blood as we age. We know there's bad stuff that accumulates in, in old blood or blood of old people. So we'd like to identify those, pick out the, the most essential ones and, and remove those. This increasing gunk turns off our body's ability to repair itself. Think about it this way. It's like a favorite recipe. A little bit of salt is good, but too much and the food is inedible. So why not filter out old blood and take out the gunk? You can then have person's own blood being purified and rejuvenated and returned very safely to the same person in a state that how it was when the person was 20 years old. And while much more research is needed to understand if these therapies can actually turn back the clock, that hasn't stopped some folks from trying. In San Francisco, a clinic will give you a young plasma transfusion for $8,000. There's certainly tech folks from Silicon Valley signing up, um, but there's pretty much people from most states, um, over, people from overseas, from Europe and Australia. And while Young Blood was recently satirized on HBO's Silicon Valley, it's my transfusion associate. Many scientists aren't laughing. Everybody knows that aging is absolutely grim, and they know that as things stand, we can't do anything about it. In Silicon Valley, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.